Welcome back to this video. We're going to be talking about how to install Blockstrap with its new updated UI and everything. It's basically going to be a simple installation guide for Blockstrap. And well, the Blockstrap link has also changed. It's now called Blockstrap Labs. And to download it, you just go to download at latest. And then here you can just click on the download right there, version 2.8.0. There's a lot of new updates, I'll make a video separately on that, like what the new stuff are, but basically now, to open Blockstrap menu, you just go to Blockstrap, it's now all in one menu, which is really nice, it's now one app basically, then you can just click on configure settings instead of launch Roblox, like you know to do both now in one, one app, and once you go here, you can then just, you know, it's, it's the previous Blockstrap menu, you can do a lot of things here, you can read the stuff and just turn them on, like, like if you want to. And to basically have fast flags, you want to go to engine settings. Then you can obviously, you know, a lot of the flags that I mentioned before in my previous videos, you can actually just turn them on as settings now. And you can then go to the flash flag editor. Now you can actually also reset everything, which is really nice. So it's like you can just quickly reset everything to default. So this is the fast flag list I use currently. It's pretty much very simplified version of my previous ones. And before the input version, like to put the flags in, it would used to be at the place where the export JSON button is. Now, to basically use it, let me just delete these flags here. To basically input new flags, you want to go to add new. This part, now you can add single flash flags or you can add multiple of them by going to import JSON. From here, you can just paste the fast flags list, which I just copied out from the export JSON which you can also see in the description below and if it if it says there's some of them are overlapping you can just press yes and that's literally it that's that's how easy it is to install the fast flags and from that there you can then click on save it will now work on your roblox client and that's literally it that's all you have to do for this you can then close it then you can reopen blockstrap and this time you can just launch it It'll do its own thing and upgrade, you know, the Roblox to the latest version. And once it does that, you can then, you know, just use Roblox normally. Even if you, let's say, play a game through the website, or if you play the game through the app itself, it'll work and run the fast flags accordingly. And it works great. I'll be making a video on basically trying to get the most FPS in Roblox possible. So that'll be really fun. Uh, let's just test it on my game over here. If I can, yep, it's everything is just, this is like default Roblox. Let me just test it on my game here. And well, it's just gonna work. So I'm not, I'm not using the more like super, like low level flash flags. I'm basically just doing like some minor optimizations. And yeah, I get a pretty good decent FPS on my game alone. Uh, this is prioritized for in terms of optimization, and I'm working on this over time. So, like this is again, this is just a video for installing Rockstrap, but this is just you know a test run of how it runs. And right now, there's basically less than 10,000 parts in this game, and I'm getting around 100 FPS while walking around. That's just my device. Also, I'm recording, so and also this like new UI stuff on Roblox is kind of neat. I don't like the chat icon though, that's a bit weird. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll be making more videos on Blockstrap as of now and just subscribe if you want to.